The big story at six, chilling new information involved, involving the man accused of taking three lives in a killing spree. Good evening. I'm Maria Elena Baloris. And I'm Tom Shedd. We've been on top of this story since March, and that is when police in Virginia Beach and Norfolk say that Cola Beal IV killed his girlfriend, Xavier Hill, his cousin, Doubting McLean, and a man described as Beal's father figure, 73-year-old Clifton Baxter. All were gunned down at different locations. Beal was on the run for days before U.S. Marshals arrested him. Ten of your side's Andy Fox joins us with today's courtroom update. Andy? Yeah, he confessed to us back in March, and today in court, we heard the confessions all over again. Back in March, we asked Cola Beal IV, does he have remorse? No. Cause what's done is done. I ain't gonna have no remorse. They ain't gonna have no remorse. So I mean, I'm gonna keep it just like I, I, I sent it. I did everything individually for a different reason. Showing no remorse in court today. A Virginia Beach homicide detective tells the judge Beal has confessed, just like he did to us back in March. Well, I want the electric chair because I'm ready to leave on. I'm ready to move on. I ain't. It's it. I mean, it's over with. I love my family. I love my kids. I love my business. The detective who were not allowed to show gave this narrative as to what Beale told him that on March 22nd, he kills girlfriend, 31 year old Xavier Hill, in her home. That Beale ties her up to her bed, brings in her dog, poured bleach on the dog to light him on fire. Hill pleads for the dog's life. Don't hurt the dog. He's done nothing wrong. She says this right before Beale shoots and kills her. I already knew after the first one. It, it, it was a wrap. I mean, I, I had enough ammo. To, I had enough ammo to kill a lot of more people. Two days later, on March 24th, Beal comes back to the house, burns it, killing the dog. Then the very next day, March 25th, Beal goes to this house and kills his father figure, Clifton Baxter, taking between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars from Baxter's safe, saying he felt he deserved it. Beal is also accused of killing his cousin, Downey McLean, in Norfolk, March 28th. He awaits court action there. And get this, in Maryland, his own father is serving time now for killing his wife, Cola's stepmother. Cola credits U.S. Marshals for stopping him before he killed more. I'm not living no more. I'm just here. I'm just in jail right now. Had I just got into a shootout with the U.S. Marshals, I would have been dead. Those words are tough to listen to. Sadly, they're all true. Beal is due back in court September 20th for trial, but that will probably be pushed back to later in the year. The grand jury will most likely indict him on September 6th. Victims' family members did not want to comment. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.